In this video, we'll explore friction and its effects on motion. We'll also look at the factors that affect the amount of friction between objects. Friction happens when two surfaces rub against each other, like when you slide a box across the floor. Or when a car comes to a screeching halt. There are a few important factors that affect the amount of friction between two surfaces. And the greater the friction, the more it opposes motion. One significant factor is how smooth the surfaces are. Smooth surfaces create less friction than rough ones. That's why it's easy to glide down a smooth playground slide. There's not much friction slowing you down. But when a baseball player slides to a halt on a dusty field, friction between the ground and their uniform brings them to a stop. Think about pushing a box of toys over a smooth wooden floor compared to pushing the same box of toys over a rough, thick carpet or trying to walk on slippery ice compared to running with sports shoes on a rough road. The surface texture really makes a difference. Another important factor is how hard the surfaces are pushing together. The harder the surfaces press against each other, the more friction there is. That's why sliding a fitness sled with two weights is much harder than sliding a sled with just a single weight. The extra weight increases the force pushing down, which increases the friction underneath. That's why sliding a box with just a single teddy bear inside is much easier than dragging a box loaded with your pet Labrador. With knowledge of what affects friction, we can use it to our advantage. There are times when we need to increase friction to slow things down or make something stop rapidly and safely. And other times, when reducing friction helps things move more easily or at greater speed. Can you think of some examples where reducing or increasing friction is useful? We'll explore this and more in the next video. Thanks for watching.